What's up, peeps? Um, so I'm going to make this as short as possible because um, I have a lot going on today. Um, you know, I haven't made one of these in, in a while, so I'm going to, you know, do, we're going to do this real quick. Um, so free guy and the protege free guy, a lot of nostalgia. Um, it was funny. In my opinion, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds is just, is just funny no matter what. I mean, you know, Deadpool was Deadpool. Actually, Deadpool was, was really good. Deadpool 2 was freaking hilarious. Like, I can't tell if that was, you know, a superhero movie, a, a, an action movie, or a comedy. Because it was, all of it was just, it was all in there. And it was awesome. But that's enough about Deadpool 2. But we're talking about Free Guy. And, you know... He plays a Ryan Reynolds character. That character, just like Deadpool, was made for Ryan Reynolds. Period. That's like, it was. That's what it was. It was made just for him. Um, there's nobody else that could have did that better than he, better than he could have. Um, the villain, in my opinion, was kind of weak. He was just like a normal, regular, smart dude, pretty much. Like a like a computer nerd, if if you will, um, but yeah, I'm dude, free guy. It's one of the hits. It's one of the hits. It flew under the radar. I mean, it made more than Suicide Squad, but it it flew under the radar. Like it just all of a sudden, like I saw a poster for it. I'm like, what what's this? You know, that was like a while ago. It was supposed to come out. I think last year or some or something like that, and you know, friggin' the pandemic. This shit needs to end. By the way, it's, it's just getting ridiculous, man. It's all it's it's, it's ridiculous, but friggin' ruined the whole entire world. Everything we did normally, we can't do. But besides that, um, yeah, not. It flew under the radar. It just, it just did. Like I didn't even know nothing. I'm like, I never heard of this. Like, you know. And then I saw a preview for it. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna be good. And then everybody's, like, it's gonna be so dumb. It's gonna be so dumb. It looks stupid. And the same people that I talked to that said it was gonna be stupid went and saw it. You know, like, oh, that was awesome. I'm a free guy. Like it. Like I said, a lot of nostalgia. Um, if you're into video games. There's like a lot of, you know, video game references and visuals, you know, in it. I mean, it. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10, guys. Sorry. 9 out of 10. Definitely a 9 out of 10. Just, that's what I'm giving it. Because that's what it was. It was a 9 out of 10. But... Then the protege, on the other hand, with uh, not this is another one that flew under the radar. Like I, you know, I didn't hear nothing about it or anything. And then one day I'm, you know, on Facebook and it's like protege starring Michael Keaton and Samuel Jackson. I'm like Samuel Jackson, you got my attention. And you know, I you know I watched the trailer. I'm like, oh, this looks decent. You know, it looks decent. You know, and. It was. It was decent. Um, dude, I'm, I'm giving... For M Michael Keaton's role, I'm giving him, dude, like an 8 out of 10 on this role. Because he played that role awesomely. He, 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 did an, he did an awesome job. Michael Keaton did. Sam, and Samuel Jackson, he always... You know, he always brings it. And the girl, I can't remember. I think Maggie Q was her name. I think. And she was like, 
you know, she was the main character, Michael Keaton and Samuel L. Jackson played side characters pretty much. Um, but like I said, you know, Samuel L. Jackson was good. The, the, the girl, she was, she was awesome as well. Like Michael Keaton, you know, like I said, he, he did awesome at his role. He, he killed it. He killed that role. He killed his role. Um, but you know, um, the, there wasn't as much action in it as I was hoping. Um, you know, from the previews, I'm like, oh, this looks like there's going to be a lot of action. In it. There was no, there was action, but not a lot. Um, there's a lot of dialogue. I can tell you that. Good. It was, it was, okay. It was good dialogue, but it wasn't Quentin Tarantino level dialogue. It was, de the dialogue was decent, but not, not. Not Quentin Tarantino level at all. Nobody is going to top that for for a really long time because his dialogue is freaking amazing in all of his in all of his movies. Like, and that's that is his thing is the dialogue. But like in this one, good, great dialogue. You know, there was there was some action, not enough, but. You didn't need it. You, did, you really didn't need it because the dialogue was pretty pretty decent. Um, like I said, there, like the action was good. There was a couple brutal scenes, you know. And one of them, I was just sitting there like, oh, this is... Like, it was making me, like, not uncomfortable, but I'm just like, that would be freaking terrible if somebody did that to you. Or if it happened to anybody, which... I'm probably going to say no, it hasn't happened to anybody, but like I said, it, you know, it would have been terrible, but, uh, I'm giving the protege some of the car alarm or something, but uh, anyway, but I'm giving the protege like, I'm giving it like a seven and a half, seven and a half, dude, like. It was good, wasn't great, you know. It's like something like, if it's on, like, like I mean, I know it's in theaters now, but if it's like on TV, you're gonna, you're gonna watch it, but you can like do your work while it's on, you know, just take a couple of glances at it, and you know, it's it's good, but you know, it's not, it's nothing to write home about. But I'm get like I said, I give, I give it a seven and a half. You know what I mean? It was decent, not terrible, but it was decent. It was decent. Um, and that's all I got for, like, that's really all I got. Because I really didn't, I didn't see anything else. I mean, that, that's it. Um, so, we'll see what comes out next. I'm not going to see Candyman, so don't be expecting oh he's gonna do a review on Candyman because I'm not I'm not doing it because I haven't heard one good thing about it no good reviews not a good everybody's like this movie sucks and I know I'm the person to be like oh I'll go see that and judge from I, I'm not because I wasn't really a big fan of the, of the original one like I thought the original one was kind of it was kind of whack, but and this one, I don't, I don't understand what the hell is going on. Like in the preview, I'm like, is he becoming Candyman or is Candyman after? What what is going on? But everybody says it sucks. Um, my son went to see it, so we'll see what he says, and uh, maybe I'll make him do a review on it. <laughs> Who knows? He won't do it though. He's a freak. He's camera shy, but uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna see that. I'm not. I'm not gonna pay to go see that. Not. Not after everything I've heard. Um, like I said, I was like I like like I wasn't really a big fan of the original one. It was just like, eh. and this one, I guess, is worse than the original one. I mean, there was. I know there's people who like the original one, but eh, I wasn't a big fan. But. Like I said, uh, you know, I give Protege seven and a half. Uh, 
free guys getting a nine. I'm going with a nine on that on that one. That was I really enjoyed that. Like the uh, I enjoyed that a lot. Um, that's I'm telling you that's one of the best movies I've seen all year. That and I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Cruella because that was awesome too. Like those are gonna be the those are gonna be the top two that you know that for the year so far. So we'll see what happens. I mean, there, we still got Spider Man coming out. We got uh, what else is coming out? Um, you know, like like I said, Spider Man. I don't even know. Like I don't even really know Halloween. I think Venom. I mean, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, might be a while till you see another one. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna, I'll do some little, little hunt and see if I have any more, you know, anything old maybe to give you or something. But till next time, peace out. Stay up, player.